So this is going to be a simple guide on how we can install frame generation in Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater and this is going to work on every GPU and you can boost your FPS for free. So let's get started. So first of all we have to download the mode. I will leave the official GitHub page of this mode down below the description box of this video. You can simply go from there and directly down from here click on OptiScaler 0.7.9.7 zip download this zip file from here and then it will be in a zip format like this here you have to extract it extract it any folder and click extract here you can use 7zip or winrar to extract the mode and now these are all the mode files we have so we have to copy each and every mode file and click copy and now open the main folder of mgs delta snake eater wherever your game is stalled like here so basically this is the main folder we don't have to paste here if you paste here the mode is not going to work basically we have to paste inside this folder mgs delta this is the main folder of this game the 90 gb folder open this go inside binaries win64 and this is the main location where we have to paste in mgs delta win64 shipping.exe simply paste all the mode files we got after extracting the mode replace if it asks to and now you have to click on optiscaler setup.bat here you can see setup.windows.bat simply open this bat file and now we have to choose the first option from here dxgil.dll this works the best click first and now it will ask are you using an nvidia gpu or amd intel gpu so make sure to select the correct gpu if you are on amd or intel press 1 and hit enter and if you are using an nvidia gpu press 2 and enter make sure to select the correct option and that's all the mode has been installed so now we have to basically open the game and activate the mode inside the game so now inside the game first of all go inside the graphics settings from the menu and here in the anti-aliasing method select dlss now the dlss will be available after we install the mode and put it on quality select dlss and use quality mode and now press the insert key on your keyboard and if you're on laptop press fn plus insert key to bring the mode menu so we can activate the frame generation basically press the insert key and this will pop up and here we go first of all on top instead of dlss select xcss or fsr3 of any of your choice you can select any one of here and then here below on the frame generation section click here and choose opti fg click here and then it will say save inr and restart the game so basically select opti fg and fsr3 on top and then simply on down below click save ini and then you have to restart your game once in order to make these changes take place so now after restarting the game press the insert key once again or the fn plus insert key to bring that mode menu so this mode menu will now pop up so first of all on top change the dlss to fsr3 or intel's xcss which one you like more you can choose any one of them all will work work the same so i will choose fsr3 and now we are already having a little bit more fps than before from 25 to 30 but now the main thing the frame generation here in the frame generation section optifg click on active and this will enable the frame generation so click active and now the frame rates has been boosted from 25 to 50 and also click on sud fix this will basically fix the glitching of the text and some other bugs you will see on the screen so this is necessary to enable click on sud fix and also click this allow async this will give a little bit more fps in some cases and that's all from the settings you can choose any upscaler of your choice it's not really a matter but the frame generation is here and that's all from the settings down below here click on save ini and this will basically save all the settings so you don't have to do this thing every time you open the game just one and press the insert key to close this mode menu and that's all now we have the game running double fps than before of, of course it will shudder because of Unreal engine 5 and i got only 4 gb of vram it's a different story but that was all for the frame generation installation thank you so much for watching and bye